perfect. Like you don't need to. Basically, every base, every map is different. But in my personal opinion, I think base three is more important than base one. But I'll just get it started anyway. So I'll just get it started anyway. Anyway, I'm I'm gonna start anyway. Okay, so so we're out. So I'm going. No. All right. Okay, so we're doing. So we're gonna do like two people go to base two. There's no point everyone going to the home base. You only go to the home base. Like, you can only send one person there in a CB or, like, obviously in a mix. Everyone goes for the home base just for GP. So, if you want to maximize your points, you go to the home base. So, we're sending some people out. Okay, this is something that people are just do all the time. When you're on the base, yeah, don't just... I like number five. Do I have to go and cap base number five? No. What the hell? What are you trolling for? Basically, yeah. So, if you're on the base, yeah, you don't want to just stand there and do nothing. So, look what I'm going to do. Look. My, I might like we're gonna push out first because there's no point just standing on the base because the other team can like push up and nade you So you want to clear out the lanes first before you get onto the base. Hi, Mero Anyway, so you know you want to push out the base. So that's why I'm clearing out right side like my teammates are looking uh, That archway, I'm just gonna go mid map clear it out. Make sure they don't get naded Yeah, Mero, if, if you watch my videos, you'll learn how to play I'm just pushing out, so see, this guy doesn't even expect me, so... Who cares about the aim, as long as I said, let's, let's just win the gunfights. Look, see, he doesn't even know I'm here. So, look, look, see, mid-map is clear now. My teammates are nading base 3. They're not even capturing base 4. They're nading base 3, because it's... I will Meho, but let this lad finish. Indeed, yeah, Meho, let me finish. Let me finish teaching, Jesus. Anyway, so yeah. Nade base 3, get him off that base. Especially at the start, like, getting kills is really important, because that timer like the respawn timer stack starts stacking up so the more kills you get the start the better so now see who cares if i didn't get that base with them but like i cleared it out for them i helped my team out so i'm just going into the base look see notice okay one play that i could have done was go mid map and go to base tree and defend them but i didn't i just kind of wrapped into the house because i didn't know who was mid map so i kind of just went into the house just to get a flank see if i can shoot anyone in behind or shoot anyone spawning up this guy was here, but like I failed my auto aim. I just got shit on whatever. I don't know why my teammate went to base five. I don't think that's kind of useful, but oh well. <clears throat> so he's on base five. I'm just spawning base four because like my teams are calming me. Like oh, like someone's got to defend this day around here. The whole point of like base, you just want to. You don't want to just like get onto the base whenever you want. Like, you don't just get onto the base, like, keep getting on the base, and, like, base one. Like, you don't just keep rolling on it and dying and rolling on and dying. That's just a waste of time and just giving the enemy team points. So, you just want to get a good few kills in a row, like, a team wipe. Team wipe is the best thing to do in base. Get a team wipe and then get on the base. So, I'm just stopping them from, like, I'm getting map control, pushing out. Stopping them from pushing out. See if I can get them off base tree. Because if I get them off base tree then my team can't like and they can't stop me if they're all dead there and then we can get base one as well so like that's why it, it's really important yeah yeah well, who are you who's this jill who's jill i don't know who jill is anyway so, my whole team's on base 1. Now, I'm going to show you a mistake that happens. Basically, yeah. They're getting naded on base 1. It's kind of really contest heavy. At this point, either everyone gets on base 1, or one person gets on base 1, and the rest of the team gets on base 3. The reason why you want more people on base 3 is because that's the base that the enemy team has. And if that guy dies over there, then they can keep spawning there, and then they can contest base 1. So, this is kind of like a bad play, but on our part. Like me and all these guys, like we went onto base one. And my team is like two of my teammates are on base three, but they're dying there. We got the base one. And this is a clear example I've told you. Look, team wipe. Everyone's dead. There's just one guy left. He's about to die too. Okay, he's dead. Everyone's dead. Now they're gonna get base one for free. Bab's not here, Mero. 
He's not in the chat. He's not watching. He's gonna watch later. Anyway, I don't know who Candace is. Anyway, so they're capturing base one. There's really nothing we can do. And on top of that, people probably have respawn timers and all that crap. So they got base one for free. And you kind of see how, what you got to do now. So, okay. So once we lose that middle base, we're on the back foot. So kind of in these situations, what you want to do is just try to get some kills. Always try to get some kills. Kills is the most important thing. Just get some map control kills. You don't want to just roll onto the base. You don't want to try and be a hero. You want to get some kills. Get there. <laughs> Indeed, I am sexy. I'm I'm the best player on the game anyway. Anyway, so you want to get them off the mid mid map or on base tree. I'm just trying to do something to make a play because my whole team is just like on base two doing nothing. So I'm just kind of getting on base one, see if I can get some kills, bait myself, try make a play. But see, like I get off of it. I guess I start getting shot at. I know people are gonna start throwing nades there, so I just get off of it. And if anything, that play didn't do anything for me. It just helped me because it, it made my respawn timer go down as well. So now just getting some more map control. Blue team's going doing well. Because right now they're not like giving away lives. They're probably resetting their timers. And you can see look, they're probably camping in the house, which which they're they don't need to push out. They're defending, they're winning. So you see I just get auto aimed here. But like yeah, that's a good job that they're just camping, the blue team. Why isn't anyone replying to you? I don't know. No one wants to talk to you, Mero. Unfortunate. Maybe next time. What is MGO? MGO is Metal Gear Online. The game. Anyway, so uh, we're losing four. My team is kind of struggling here. He dies. One more. Let me see what's next. Nothing here. See, it's very tough. That's why base is very tough. Like, once you make one mistake or you get one team wipe, it's very hard to regain from that. Or right, I'll explain this. Look, hold up, hold up. Alright, so chaff is very important in, in base. Because once you chaff, obviously you don't see the map anymore. So then you can like sneakily capture a base. So it's important that like not everyone goes to like we were basically the plan was to get base five, which is like the home base of the enemy team. But like obviously in the middle of a round, like they're not gonna spawn base five because it's their home base, so no one expects that. So it's trying to catch them off guard. But if like if the whole if all of my team went to base five. We would just lose another base, so it's important, like, you gotta have that balance. Like, two, three people max going for that flank hero play, and the rest of the people just gotta stay alive and defend. So we chaff. You see two people over there. Okay, now we make the play. We're in voice chat, so we know where to go. So, I see someone on it. I'm nading, trying to cover. My teammate's dead over here, so I'm just gonna go help him get that base. Enemy team's not nowhere anywhere here. They don't know what's going on. They're spawning up too late. See, that's too late now. This guy spawned up too late. This is like team shooting. Like, I'm moving to this. Okay, this is something small that not to do with base. But I'm I when I'm facing the shielder, there's two people, two of us. You just got to bait and, like, create the angles and create the distance from the shielder. So, look, he's going to come towards me. I'm separating myself from him. So that he can only target w me or Abu. So he has to shoot at one of us. And while he's shooting at the other one, everyone knows the best base player was Baba Yaga. <coughs> Baba Yaga is not even the best team sneaking player, let alone base player. I don't know what he's talking about. So he's got to shoot either him or me. So then like paying that distance, I'm missing my shots, but that's fine. He, now he faces his direction on me. Abu kills him. That's what you want to do with a shielder every time. <coughs> And win another gunfight. Okay, so you see, we're winning with the bases right now. But what you can't see in the map is my teammates are kind of dying at base 4. Like, my two teammates over here need to go defend base 4. Like, I'm over here. There's only one minute left. Like, one person defending here is enough. Like, see, I'm trying, trying to rotate for them. I have one nade left. It's too late. They got base 4 already. So that's kind of choke for my team. Like, I made the right play, but, like, they didn't just win the gunfights. And then I'm over here trying to defend this base as well. Because that's like, what more can I do right now? I don't know why Nolan spawned there. He should have spawned home base and tried to get base 4. So you, there's no point like spawning on that base right there when there's already people there. You want to 
try to go for the win, especially like in a clan battle. <laughs> Baba, what are you doing? Why are you trolling? Don't troll Mero. You don't know what you're doing. I mean, just trying to get base for 20 seconds is a good amount of time. Unlucky that I lost that gunfight. Because you'll see, like, if I won that gunfight, okay, so look, see, my team is on base one. That's really good. Because now the enemy team can't nade base four, like my home base. So this guy just has to stay alive on base one. He's just baiting himself. He's just got to stay alive. But these guys don't get it in time. They get naded off. Because he gets naded off or he gets off at the base. I don't know why he did. That's Solid Snake. <laughs> Solid Snake's not a player. Solid Snake is the main character from Metal Gear Solid. Anyway, okay, so next round. It is what it is. Okay, so once again, like... The reason why some, like, more of my teammates went to base 5 is because... For capturing a base, you get like five points or whatever. So the more people that capture the base, the more points for the team. And then you have more chance of a winning if you have more points, obviously, in a clan battle. But like in mix, do whatever the hell you want. So I'm just nading that base. Try to get them off it. Try to contest. That's what the enemy team is doing as well. I'm going to lucky gunfight. Even though I'm one shot. I'm just trying to get this base with my teammate. Yeah, sure. Solid snake. Hi, <laughs> Meryl. You wish. You wish, Meryl. Anyway, so I'm just... I don't know who trapped, but I'm just covering the lane, seeing what I can do. Kill this guy. Little guy comes. Destroy him. Okay. Thanks for watching, Meryl. We have four viewers only. Mm hmm. All right. I'm just helping out my team. Oh yeah, she looks easy. Do a video on how to play bomb. All right, I'll teach you how to play bomb after. Don't worry. Anyway, look, basically, the reason why I paused it there is because we got five kills. That just means we can get base one now. Team wipe, get that points, get the GP, get the win. If you get a team wipe, then you've pretty much won the round. All you have to do is just defend after that, which is what we do. We just defend our, our bases after that. Just got to reset your timers and defend the bases. Okay, I'm just trying to nade them off. I'm saving my nades. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm just trying to get him off the base, nade him out. Trying to defend my base, base tree. So I'm calling out to m see my teammate over there on base four. I don't know what he's doing. He's uh, being an absolute fool, wasting his time doing that. When we're winning on the bases, the enemy team is clearly pushing base tree. You should be coming back and defending. Let's see what he does. Let's see what this guy does. Not a Nello. Yes. Nello just dying over there doing nothing. Doing absolutely nothing over there. Anyway, so I spawn up. Watch this. Watch this tree piece. One. Two. Tree piece. Gone. Done. You're done now. That's a GG. You think it's possible to lose when you're shooting like that? JK, we lost this map because Bob uh, disconnected. All right, look, listen. I just killed like three people, yeah? I'm coming back and I'm resetting my timer because there's nothing else for me to do right now. I don't need to push out to base four. I don't need to go to base two. I don't need to do nothing. I just need to stay back and reset my timer. Let them spawn up again. Let them come to me and shoot them. It's easy. You don't need to push in. You don't need to waste your time. Just reset your timer. Look at it. Look, Abu's resetting his timer because he knows there's nothing else to do. Just wait. Reset your timer. If, if for Oh, yeah, also, I'll just brush over this. For people that don't know what I mean by reset your timer, basically in base, if you don't, like, capture bases or you don't spend, like, time on bases, 
then you get like a respawn timer so when you die it says like one two three four five six, whatever it goes up to nine seconds nine seconds is the max amount of time that you have to wait before you can respawn and the and the way to reduce that timer or prevent that timer from coming onto your screen or from having that delay is to cap a base you can cap the enemy team base you can cap a neutral base you can also capture your own base so i you can see like see that little bar that's on my base that's like I'll go back one sec. There's like a bar going up there, a small red one within the like the, the main red one. Like I don't know if you see it, like the color difference. But just capture the base. I don't know how long you should be spending on it. Just do a couple of seconds, you know, just waste some time. It's alright, there's no problem. There's plenty of time. Using that nine seconds now look so let me let me break it down. So say for example I didn't reset my timer and then I died. I would have a nine second respawn timer at like a pivotal moment in the game whereas I can waste nine seconds respawn like do, uh, resetting my timer in my home base like over here because there's no action happening there's no plays being happening there's nothing happening so it's wasted time anyway it's about optimizing your time so I'm just capturing the base resetting my timer now I push up because some people have died some people are spawning up I know the timings so I'm just trying to see what alleyways I can cover how can I team shoot with my team look okay look there you go one example look hold up let me go back okay look i see this guy mid map yeah i shoot a bit if i don't kill him that's fine i turn back i don't rush out mid map trying to sh gun him down you just gotta choose your gunfights if i can't win the gunfight then go back reposition yourself like see right now look that was just a dumb gunfight for me i shouldn't have went out mid map and just started shooting at him Oh, I spawn home base because I see this guy over here. He kills me, shits on me. So my bases are getting captured. Okay, let's explain this real quick. Okay, look, see. I see base one is being captured, yeah. But I see I have one teammate on base tree. I have another one on tree. And I see another guy mid-map. And then I see my home base being captured. So I spawn home base because I want to defend my home base. Because there's no one else there. So you just gotta know how to make that. So, so what? My teammate died mid map, but you gotta make that split decision. Because what if I spawn base tree, yeah, and my teammates defended base tree and base one? Base five is being captured, and no one's there to spawn up, and I was the last one to spawn up, so I gotta go defend. This is just some disastrous gameplay right now. I'm sorry if you guys watch this. It's a bit of controller malfunction. And then Google disconnects. And then we lose. That's a GG. And anyway, that's that. That's that video done. Next video. Break down so some. Some OO base. Everyone's favorite OO base. People love playing this shit. I don't know why. Well, actually, I do know why. Because there's so much walls. You can just wall hug. So yeah, this is this, this is a mix. Completely different to a CB. Everyone goes to home base. Everyone wants that points. Everyone wants that GP. Alright, so once you capture that home base, you gotta spread out. If you, if my, if everyone just goes to one base, base 5, and they flank, or they kill you guys, or they nade you, that's just asking to lose, because the round's gonna be over, because you're just not hugging each other. One nade, one team wipe, you're done. And if you're all grouped up together, it's so easier to get team wiped. That's why me and this guy just going base 4, spreading out, going for different bases. So that's what we'll do. Go here, throw some nades. I look see. I'm off the base. Why am I off the base? I'm off the base because I know the enemy the enemies are over there. They're gonna nade the base. So just get off the base and win the gunfights and then get on the base. And look, you'll see. Look, who cares? Okay, I missed some shots. These guys are still on the base. Yeah, fine, fair enough. But they're getting naded too. My health is all full. I get auto aimed, but we trade. But they got the base. That's good. So, the main thing about base is knowing where to spawn based off your team. I see like two people at base four. Base four is not really a highly contested base. Base five is more important. And I see two people there. Two people should be enough for base four. And I see the enemy has just captured base two. So, if they've captured base two, like it's pretty much certain that they're gonna go for base five. 
So if they're going to base five, then I gotta spawn there. There's only one guy on my team there. So that's what I do. I spawn. I need. I buy my team some time so they can spawn and help me, or make a flank, or get some kills, or push out, or whatever. So I use all my needs. Alright, look, see, I'm gonna explain something, yeah. I know they have base 5, and I know they have base 1, so it's, like, so obvious that someone's gonna be, like, in that alleyway, or, like, in that roundabout area. But I'm not just gonna run in like a headless chicken. I'm gonna be cautious, I'm gonna try pre-aim, I'm gonna try bait out the enemy team. And that's what I'm doing, I'm not just gonna push in guns blazing. See, I'm just pre-aiming. Look, see, I just shot that guy. That was our lucky-ass kill, but I was pre-aiming him. I was shooting him. I was cautious. I was looking that way because I know that they're going to come from that way. I'm not a brain-dead mix player. It's not all about aim. It's about having a brain. Two viewers only. God damn, no one wants to learn. So I, boss, so I spawn base 5 again. Now what are we doing? We're just nading, clearing it out. Seeing if I need someone. My teammate gets naded or like roll that. Cover that guy. Cover that guy. Looking at base 2 because I know that's their spawn. This is lucky. Unlucky Nolan. Hi, Tomoka. Hi, Coyote. Alright, let's see. What's next? Alright, six second respawn timer. Hate to see it. Alright, look, see, look, alright. My team is getting absolutely destroyed. We're losing all the bases. We only have one base. What do I do? A good thing would be right now is to chaff, but I didn't chaff. Fuck it. But, like, okay, kill this guy already. Oh no, that's the next play. Never mind, I lose this gunfight. Lose that gunfire. See, I'm not resetting my spawn, my my timer. The re okay, I'm I'm gonna explain something. The reason why I'm not resetting my timer at this point is because my whole team is at base four, and I don't see the point of just not hugging them at base four. Sure, I'm resetting my timer, but there's like one minute fifty seconds left. I don't know. I want to make a hail mary play. I want to make it competitive. I want to try win the match, win the round, get some bases, get some GP, get that plus. So what do I do? I spawn home base and I make a different play. I don't want to go to base 3 which is so obvious, so predictable. My team is getting destroyed down there. What's the point of me just going down there and getting destroyed with them? So what do I do? I make the heads up play. I go to base 1 because majority of people on the enemy team are going to be spawning base 2 or base 3. Base 5, nah. Base 1, nah. So what do I do? I go for that base 1. Hop on that shit. I'm just waiting. Okay, another thing. Don't stand still on the base. Move around, make it hard. Next thing. Don't, like, try space out your nades. Like, I'm just waiting. I don't need to throw my nades yet. I'm just waiting, waiting, waiting. Throwing my nades at the end because the end is the most important thing. That's when you're going to capture the base. So, we got the base. I'm out. Meanwhile, my team has got base 2. Good stuff. Now we have a pinch on base 5. I have two nades left. What do I do? Nade the door. I don't know why my team hasn't pushed in at this point. But that would have been a really good play. Because I, I think I spawn up and I get auto-aimed. But So I don't know why my guy got up like that. But see, that was a good play. Like That was setting up my team to make a play. Like to win the round. Unfortunately, like you just still got to win the gunfights. You can make the right play. But if you don't win the gunfight, then you're just useless. Bit of spray and pray going on there. Cheeky bit of spray. The push out. Can't believe I got next shot on the floor. Back in the same position, but guess what? I captured base one all by myself and I got that GP. That's all that matters in mix. Throwing some nades at the obvious spots. Three piece. Four piece. That's a highlight, ladies and gentlemen. He's a.
You see? Look at that. Look at that big fat juicy plus. Juicy plus. That's what you want. That's what you want. Next time, man. Oh shit. Volume. SS base. I tried to include different base maps. <laughs> yeah, Nishi's cute. He is cute indeed. Alright, base. SS base. I love this MM, to be honest. The re okay, what you want to do is, again, you want to split up. Look at my team. Four people base one. No, five. Five people base one. This is asking to get destroyed. No one going to base three. No one going to base five. No one con attacking the enemy team base. One nade over here, or, or the enemy team pushes up and nades us, it's over. But they don't do that either, because you can get away with this in mix, because people are just GP whores. But fuck it. Got that base one. I don't know what this guy is doing. Typical insanity member. Save my comrade. Blast that guy. Okay, they've captured base four like quite some time ago. We're in the, clearly not a base three, so I know that the enemy team is going to be pushed up or nading or whatever. So I'm not just going to roll in there like I'm fucking picking daisies. I'm just going to wait. So what, I got naded, but I didn't get fully naded. Like, it wasn't all my health. Like, that retard. Look at him. Why is he over there? They're going to nade you. Actually, to be honest, that was not that bad of a play, to be honest. It's kind of mean. Enemy team, they're not going for that base tree. They're just waiting, nading. I get clapped here. Fair enough. I'm contesting on base tree. Look, see, I spawned home base because I want to get to base tree. Uh, there's no need to spawn one or five because they're further away from base tree. I want to help my team at base tree and I want to get that base. Simple. I saw that guy from the corner of my eyes waiting for him to jump down. Waiting for him to jump down because look. It's easier to shoot him when he's jumping down because he's standing still. That's an easy kill, headshot, free kill. Roll on that base, get that GP. Look, some people would have just been like, hey, wait, let me explain something. In this situation, some players would have been so tunnel vision and they wouldn't have waited for that guy to jump down. Yes, that is a strong Outer Haven shirt. That is the meta. It gives you special powers. Listen. Waiting for that guy to jump down, kill him, and then get on the base. Because say, say, say for example, I didn't notice that guy. I didn't see. I roll onto the base. He spawns behind me and blasts us all. If it's a good player, obviously the TG is not gonna hit nothing. But now I roll on the base. Get that GP. Get both, GP and the kill. See my teammates getting absolutely destroyed in this corner. So I'm just gonna try help him out. Nade for him. See if I can get some kills, some protection. Don't see nothing. Lose that gunfight like an absolute noob. Alright, so now, base tree has been captured. Oh, wait, no, let me go back. This is the main thing. The man, to be honest, the base is pretty simple. Hi, Snorlax. Alright, look, listen. I see two teammates on base two. Two teammates on base three. Where do I go? I don't need to go to base 3 because there's two people there. My teammates are trying to get base 2. Why not go help them? Try to get some GP, try to get some bases, try to get some kills. Because it's gonna, obviously you're going to get contested because their base is right there. So that's what I do. Go up here. Alright, another thing. I could have gone on to base 2 and captured the base with him. But I didn't. Don't ask me why, because I don't know. I didn't trust that. But getting that base is very hard. And I wanted some kills or some shit. I don't know. Because I, I knew he was going to get naded. Like, it, it just seemed highly unlikely that that guy would get the base or that we would get the base because there wasn't a team wipe. So I know you're just going to get naded. You just got to have that in the back of your mind. Like, how many of the enemy team is dead? How bad are they getting spawn trapped? What's the slaying like? Have they been resetting their timers? Have you guys been resetting your timers? You gotta kind of keep that all that stuff in the back of your mind and your sub subconsciously to know like when on, when to make a hail pair, hail mary play, when to get on a base or when not to. So I kind of just did that in my brain. I'm like, there's no point in me getting on base too. Like this guy's gonna get naded. Wait, actually, to be honest, ignore everything I just said. He literally caught that base. What the fuck? These guys are absolutely useless. 
sure he got that base. Oh well. Well, I honestly, I at the time that's what I was thinking. I was like, oh, this guy's not gonna get the base, but he got it. Fair enough. Good for him. Now what do we do? We go. Going after this guy that we saw that he killed us earlier. What do we do? There's Nade base too. Bit of spray and prey going on. Not gonna fight. Nade him. Get him off the base. No need to do anything retarded. No need to push out. No need to go into the enemy base. No need to go for base 4. Just stay here. Get some kills. Pick them off. Cover the lanes. Switch it up. Like I'm not just going to stay at that one plot spa space the whole time. I'm going to cover different angles. I see a victim. A wild yam appears. Like a cheeky flank play. Don't see anyone here. Go for that base 4. TG shoots me in the back. Predictable. Alright, look. Okay, I'm going to explain something to you real quick. Some people don't notice this. But it's like really simple. This guy is auto-aiming me, okay? I'm really weak. Chances are, he's thinking, Oh my god, this guy's one shot. Let me auto-aim him. He's going to play really aggressive, try to get that kill. So what do I do? I position myself to go around the corner. So that I look, look at him. He's trying to auto-aim me. He's going walking slowly, like a sloth predictable what am i gonna do i'm gonna pre-aim and shoot where he's gonna come out because i know he's gonna come here 99 percent of players are just gonna push that play try to get that kill because you're one shot and i i get him i don't know how i didn't kill him here but a bit of missing bit of sponging going on i don't know what you want to call it So my team has lost base 3, but it's okay, we're still winning, so now I'm just going to make it my job to defend base 2. There's no point trying to go for base 3 and trying to capture it, well, someone's got to try to defend. Same way, like, you don't want to send everyone to cap a base, you don't want to send everyone to defend, it's just splitting up. I know my team is capturing base 3, this is kind of a random flank that I made, which paid off. The reason why I, this is like a 100 IQ play to be honest. Instead of, I know my t the enemy team's capturing base 2. Realistically, there's like one person on it, max. Maybe he got naded, I don't know. And my team is there. And I know my team is capturing base 3, which is more important. And I know that the enemy team is going to rather spawn base 4 and defend base 3 because that's what's going to make them win. So I just make this flank. Try nading. I get lucky that this guy's not looking at me. And then I know they're going to spawn here. So I just turn around in time. What do I do next? Try to get that GP. But unfortunately, I do not. I got that plus. He's a... Next one. Oh, for fuck's sake. WW base. Just like I said with MM, certain bases are more important than others, especially in WW base. Base 1 is useless. Base 3, 5, and 4 are the most important. And on this side, you want to go for base 3 first and nade them. So that's what our team does. You want to get that map control. You want to push out. There's no point. If you just go into base 5 straight away, you're just going to get quarterback 3 naded, or you can get pushed, or you're just going to get stuck. Because imagine if you're in base 5. Imagine if you even capture it, okay? You come up the staircase, and you have a whole firing squad blasting you in a narrow alleyway, like a narrow like walkway, and the enemy team's all over here mid-map destroying you. You're not going to get out. It's not a favorable gunfight. Once again, I'm not just going to get on the base and do nothing especially at the start i'm gonna push out do the unexpected or catch them off guard spray them down who cares i didn't get those kills but i got some team shots in throw some nades nice got a kill who cares my enemy t enemy team my i mean sorry my team got the base so well 
I got two kills. We got map control. That's a win-win. What do we do now? Kind of stupid, to be honest. Get on, on that base. The rest of this map is just done. Because, look. We have the three main bases captured. That just shows you, like, the start is so important. Like, literally, we've, we won this round just because the first minute of what our plays did. So, the start is really important in base. The start is really important in base. So, that literally dictated, like, you can see, like, doesn't matter like defending those bases is really easy all you have to do is spawn base tree like there's no there's no point showing the gunfights because like i'll show you like that's all you have to do is just nade those three bases so your base is very easy the stat is very important though so see look we don't even need to go for base one base one is useless it's underground you can't do anything with it there's no point sending so many people here look like last minute i'm here because the enemy team has only one base and I'm not just going to sit there and do nothing. I'm going to try to get some kills or whatever. But you can see, like, base one is useless. Now I'm going to show you what happens when you don't go for the objective. And you don't play for the main base. Actually, no, that's not what happened this round. Fortunately, I got... I can't... I can't... Yeah, I'm saying that. Okay, there's another CB. This this map we lost. Just... We lost this time, man. So yeah, we sent three and three for both bases. They sent more people to base three, and like one or two to base like their home base, which is a good play, fair enough. My auto aim is clearly doing absolutely nothing here getting absolutely joked So we got that team wipe, not team wipe, just slaying out, trying to get some kills. Up to here it's fine. Problem starts when... Let me explain to you exactly when it happens. Um, Alright, look, listen, yeah. We have like 3-4 people alive right now. Going for base one. This gunfight is kind of important. We trade. Unlucky that Bab died. But we got three people on the base. They got the base. But the problem is that they're all going to die now. Because they rolled on the base and they were weak. And they got naded as soon as they captured it. So now they're all going to die over there. And once and look, I haven't been resetting my timer. So they're all dead. Two minutes, 30 seconds left. No one's alive. They're going to capture that base. And we've been team wiped. And everyone's timers are really low, so if you start losing more gunfights after this, then it's impossible to win. That's pretty much what happens. Like, it's impossible to win after that. They just play well, they defend, they hold their corners, they nade, auto aim, whatever, win their gunfights. It just becomes impossible to win. Especially this map, because it's so, like, close quarters, you can't really make a hero play. Like, you can't go for, like, base 2 or base 5. It's pretty tough. And they just win their gunfights.
same thing again just split out capture the bases dp equals eloc and wallbang yeah but everyone takes SOP stealth to be honest, especially in like a clan battle. So like I got like six kills over here, bruh. But the problem is team wipe at the start is not that effective. It's more effective in like middle to late late um round because obviously this respawn timers are into play. But because this map is like so small and like close quarters, it's so easy to like spawn up on one and four and just nade. But like if I got like a five piece or six piece on a different map, like a bigger map. That would have like made us win the round, but it gotta it's gotta be effective. But see, like it's so scrappy that my teammates aren't winning the gunfights; they're just nading, and then I start like missing here. Maybe if I like defended him over there, but yeah, so we lose that one, that map too. I don't know how much more to explain. To be honest, that's pretty much like base. It's not that complicated. People just make it complicated because they don't know where to spawn. They don't know how to tank for themselves. They don't know like how to spawn up or reset their timers. They don't have to be patient. If you're like patient and you just watch the map and watch where your teammates are going, you'll be fine in base. Yeah, that's it. I don't know even you know what I'm going to talk about in this MM. What even happened here? Mm. Oh yeah, that's it boys. Does anyone have any questions or I'm just gonna turn off the stream? I'm so tired to be honest. Well this is the last video anyway. Look at Nightfox trying to auto aim me. Look at him. Same thing, like, same concept. Spawning base tree, defending, 1 minute 30 seconds left, you're winning. Reset your timer, defend. No need to make risky plays or hero plays. Save your nades for a rainy day. Oh yeah, this is a problem to have. Some people don't reset bases. They were just re they were just captured base too because no one reset it. You gotta reset the base. That's like base one oh one. If the enemy team is capture is capturing your bases or is close to capturing your base and they get off or they die, someone on your team or your you must go onto the base and reset it and bring the progress down to zero. Damn, disgust, Nino. Drunk disgust. Look at that spray. DS himself is in this voice chat. I mean, in the stream. Unfortunately, we went from having four bases or whatever to having no bases. And that's a porco dio. Anyway, GG boys. Thanks for watching.